Okay, so I'm gonna start by getting fortified again. Then hope I don't get one shotted by one of these knights. Assume there's knights here. Maybe not. Just quill rats with Avenger. See, we got like this big elite pull up here, so I'm probably just gonna wait for my petrify. Is my health good? Yeah. I like a four second barber because, uh, Thanks to Stormstrike, uh, thanks to this enhancement with the Crone Staff, we have like near 100% vulnerable uptime anyways. So uh, I think like the exploit proc on the Glyph isn't super valuable, you know? So in the, the longer duration, it just means a bigger multiplier. So yeah, I like a longer Barber myself. A lot of quill rats. Yeah. But I mean, if if you just like uh, if you just find like your first barber and it's short, like it's still it's still fantastic. Like still use it, but um uh yeah, longer longer is better if you can get it. And ideally you want the level 5 one because then you get the uh 15x multiplier per second. Uh and the level 4 one only gives you like the 14% one. So. It's a small thing, but it helps. Oh my gosh. Yeah, here's the elite room. God, those explosions are so satisfying. Yeah, I love the big explosions. That's why I love, uh, uh-oh, uh, the penetrating shot rogue build. I don't know if you've tried that, but it's a lot of fun. Lots of big explosions there. I think the penetrating shot rogue build is like the most 
PoE build I've played in Diablo 4. Okay, well this, this dungeon's going pretty well. Oh, activate the levers. This is the worst. Oh, no worries. The, um, um, what's it called? Penetrating shot? Is that what it's called? Uh, the rogue build? It's like, uh, I like to run it with the, uh, shadow imbuement. And, uh, yeah, lots of big explosions. Nice one shot. 